to Subnautica. Ah! Ah! And now I'm on a journey to hatch every single egg possible within the game. Let's get right into the egg hatching shenanigans. I begin my journey like every great story should. Waking up in a crash landed pod, everything burning around me. I splooge over the fire and wash myself off in the sea. Just in case you, the beautiful viewer watching this, have never had the chance to play this beautifully horrific underwater experience, there is a huge list of errands I have to accomplish before I can begin my fish napping. Here's how I spent my time during the first six painful hours of my playthrough. Stocking up on every single material like a kleptomaniac, upgrading and acquiring new equipment, building a suitable base for the challenge at hand, creating robot child slaves and forcing them to fabricate an underwater bumper cart, stopping the big ship from leaking radiation by zapping a couple holes with a taser, and learn the blueprint for the alien containment unit. All will survive many near-death encounters from horrifying sea creatures desperate to digest my ass into alien shit. I also snagged this little guy while I was down there, because I mean, come on, look at the little Chad. I'm sure he'll fetch a great price on the dark web. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that, he's adorable. Just like all my subscribers, which by the way, not to be that guy, but... In all seriousness, these videos take literal weeks of non-stop editing and caffeine consumption to make, so any form of support is highly appreciated. I completely understand if you can't spare a sub or a comment, but if you can, I would be highly appreciative of a like. It genuinely helps me turn this hobby into a full-time job. But if you do sub, I'll give you head. Now that I have all of that done, I built my first alien containment unit and began to incubate my first egg. Now time to find other eggs to hatch. Since I'm gonna need multiple alien containment units anyways, I thought it would be a fun idea to turn every containment unit I build into one of the game's biomes. So I decided to start off easy by making the kelp forest biome, since the biome isn't very dangerous and that there was one very close by the base. So a cool thing about the alien containment unit is that you can actually plant some of the flora samples that you collect. So while I was out, I grabbed some sea poof and brain coral samples and snagged this underwater avocado. I also went ahead and kidnapped some of the native fish in the area since I had space in my inventory. I returned to base to drop off the egg and the plant samples and find that the egg from earlier hatched, revealing what seems to be a... Uh, ugh. You're like Cthulhu's Discord mod. God, you were cuter when you were just an egg. Anyways, I built a moon pool connecting to my base so I'd have a way to dock and charge my Seamoth. A cool thing about the moon pool is that if you build this vehicle upgrade console, not only can you upgrade the Seamoth's capabilities, but you can also change its appearance and rename it as well. Although I love the white and blue color scheme that the Seamoth comes in, I found that it attracts a lot of unwanted attention to me, so I needed to change the color in order to stop getting bullied by the surrounding wildlife. Behold! Boofy Patootie. Now I know what you're thinking. Mono, that's the most god-awful janky color scheme you could have possibly picked. Have you become mental? Well, to answer your questions, of course I'm mental. You're talking to the same guy that kissed a public mannequin for a cutaway joke. But I'll stand with you guys in saying that this design may be a little suboptimal is what I would say if I wasn't a goddamn genius. The underwater creatures of this world have adapted to finding camouflage prey. So if I don't camouflage and I instead stand out like a white man in a Popeye's Louisiana kitchen, there's no way I'll be spotted out in the sea. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army guys. Now it's creating the next biome, the grassy plateaus. This is actually the biome where I built my base, so it didn't take very long to put everything together. When I returned to base, I checked up on the kelp forest biome to see that I hatched a, uh, Albino totodile. The next biome up for cultivating is the mushroom forest. This is another easy biome to take care of since there's only two native species of the area. And it's another biome that's just next door to where I live. It's almost like I strategically picked this spot because it was in the middle of everything. Anyways, I grabbed a couple of fungal samples in this Viagra pill, which actually turned out to be... I'm sorry, I can't make a video about an underwater video game and not have this glorious meme in it. Since I had inventory space to spare, I also made a trip to the blood kelp zone for these angry grapes and ghost rooms. I also stopped by the bulb zone to trim the giant blue balls and grab this, uh... God, I hope that's an egg and not a toy from mommy's secret drawer. Cause otherwise, I'ma have to upload this to a different website if you catch my drift. Now that my inventory is more full than a European peasant after eating half a slice of bread, it was time to go home and prepare the alien containment units. Where I learned that I actually cannot plant the fungal samples, making these samples the biggest waste of inventory space right next to your mom. The rock ended up hatching, revealing a rock shark, and this turned out to be an egg too for the, uh... I'm pretty sure that's an Electros. I've played enough Digimon in my time to know that shit. Now time to create my favorite biome in Subnautica, the Jelly Shroom Caves. Although it's a little dangerous, the neon pink and purple atmosphere combined with the bright colored and unique fish is such an aesthetically beautiful biome in my opinion. 
Eh, who am I kidding? It just reminds me of your mom's workplace. Either or, this was definitely a biome I was excited to work on. As per usual, I grabbed some fish and flora samples, but struggled to find the egg of the crab snake. I knew it had to be in this biome because this is the only place where these slender, slimy fish dildos can be found. I looked a little more carefully and, uh... I looked around a little more carefully and noticed that some of the jelly shrooms have holes that these crab snakes dive in and out of. And some of these holes were actually big enough for me to fit through. So a little more searching and I finally found... <laughs> From here, I built the alien containment unit for the jelly shroom cave biome and proceeded to plant and release the fish. So this guy right here seems to be infected with space gonorrhea, but I don't think it'll be an issue for the other fish. I mean, look at the ugly motherfucker. His chances of getting laid is about as equal as you purchasing mono merch. Link in the description. Shameless plug aside, I went back up to the surface and ordered my robot child slaves to make me an exosuit. Why do I need an exosuit? Well, to be honest with you, I don't. These lazy scraps of metal have been dormant for way too long. What's the point of having robot child slaves unless you work them to death. And what better way to overwork the children than to have to build a full-fledged submarine for me? However, before I could do that, I still need the blueprint for it. While I've been on this journey, I've already been scanning parts for the Cyclops. The only parts I need now are for the engine, which can spawn here at the crash site. Most people are usually afraid of this area because of how dangerous it can be. However, my mama didn't raise a bit. <laughs> After building the Cyclops, I noticed this ominous countdown on my screen, as well as the new marker. It's a little boring collecting eggs all the time, so this is actually a great way to take a break. Let's go check it out. So the marker led to an alien base that I unlocked with a purple Chinese iPad that I found nearby. Inside the base had many interesting funky little doodads, like this green Chinese symbol, Minecraft Emerald Block, and this thing. Uh, what, what is this? Oh! Yo, it's a funny green button! I sure hope it doesn't turn me into Jane Margolis from AMC's Breaking Bad. The countdown was almost done, so I decided to wait outside and looked into the sky to find my favorite basketball star, Kobe Bryant. The next habitat I wanted to work on was the safe shallows. This biome was one of the safest, if not the safest biome of the game. So working on building this habitat was a relaxing fresh of breath air. Or, uh, breath of fresh. Fuck! Rest assured, beautiful viewer, I promise you that nothing is wrong in this intricate cranium of mine. What are you? Okay, I need to lay off the sea boof. Well, I checked out the jelly shroom cave tank, and I guess I was wrong. Despite looking like a bug-eyed butt plug, this fish has managed to spread his gonorrhea to every fucking fish in the tank. Even the motherfucking fish dildo caught this shit. It's like nothing is safe from this space gonor- Wait. No, 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 God! Damn you, stupid butt plug! So I've encountered another issue. My two puny solar panels in this rusty old bioreactor just isn't enough to fuel my glorious behemoth of a base. So I need to find a way to create... Lucky for me, there's this funny little thing in the game called a nuclear reactor. Build one of these babies and you'll have just enough power to finally let go of her. Are there any drawbacks? Uh, Not at all! Now then, let's go find the nuclear reactor blueprint. I tried searching around nearby, but I couldn't find a single damn piece since my luck is lower than my hopes for the upcoming generation of men, women, and anything between and beyond. Except you, of course. You're the last glimmer of hope left for this world. Only you can fix the unstable standards of our collapsing society. You have the power to shatter mountains with your words, push the proper agenda forward with the strengths that gods wish they could have, and all this can be done by you. How? By hitting that subscribe button. Now I'm traveling as far as I can in hopes of finding nuclear reactor pieces. I'm not sure how successful this will be, but surely I'll find something out here deep in the dark. Although Boofy Patootie was tragically chewed up by the giant semen snake leviathan, I kept my heart strong and returned to the Cyclops, for the journey for the nuclear reactor isn't over yet. After a couple of minutes of aimless wandering and horn hawking, I find myself at the Sea Trader's Path. This biome is actually very interesting since it's flatter than an anorexic chick you went to high school with. The only thing that lives in this biome is a three-legged beef boy called, well, you guessed it, the Sea Trader. Trader? Trader? Schrader? Agent Schrader? Anyways, it didn't take very long for me to find one of their eggs. Wait a minute. Oh, hell no! <laughs> I also found another Discord mod Cthulhu egg while searching around. I also traveled deeper to harvest the forbidden salty rock candy since the sea booth just didn't hit the spot anymore. But when I was trying to make my way to home base, I found some fools trying to run up on me from my blue sky. I had to drive like I was in an audition for a Netflix live action remake of Initial D, but I managed to slip out with just a sliver of... What? I returned to the green sea since I only needed three more eggs until I was finally done with the challenge. The first one I went for was the mesmer egg. While searching around, the semen snake leviathan tried to give my prawn suit a couple of smooches, which I simply responded with No! 
The next egg I need is deep, deep in the lava zone, specifically inside this off brave Fiona's castle. The egg I need here is from this incest product of an alligator, which I found deep inside the mountain's cooch. But deeper in the cooch was this secret Minecraft base. A little exploring and I found a blue iPad and... Okay, surprise, surprise, sea meth ain't good for the brain either. Since I was already so far deep, I continued to explore even deeper, which ultimately led to another schizo breakdown, but I ended up finding another Minecraft base. I used the blue Coco Melon iPad to open up the base, where I found that I needed another Coco Melon iPad to open up the base. This is some fucking bullshit! I decided to collect the last of the cuttlefish eggs first, since I already have two of the five that can spawn in the world. Honestly, I thought this would have been much more exciting of a trip. I ended up making another Coco Melon iPad and finally met my schizo imaginary friend. She explains to me that in order to hatch her eggs, I need to spread a special substance on them. What substance? Good question. Uh, is that milk? Wait a minute. I know what this is. I I'll be right back, guys. I, I can make this myself. I spread my special sauce all over the eggs and they immediately begin to hatch. The babies also left behind some space play-doh that cured my space gonorrhea. Now with all the eggs finally hatched within the game and my space gonorrhea cured, there is only one more thing left for me to do. Get off this wet disease shithole toilet of a goddamn planet! First, I commanded the robot child slaves to build a platform for me that I could construct my rocket ship off. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. I built the ship piece by piece, turned on every single system the ship has to offer, and finally took off. It was initially a bumpy ride, but I eventually reached hyperspeed and all ended well. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. Excuse me, what? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been quite an interesting project to work on from my end. As of the day this video gets posted, this will actually be my longest video yet. If you're new here, I usually like to split these videos up into sections so I can post them weekly or sometimes bi-weekly, depending on how the magical editing process is going. But this time I decided to compile the entire series just into one video, just to see if you guys would like it more. Why? Because I love you, of course. I don't necessarily want to be everyone's favorite content creator, but I do want to try to be yours if I can. So let me know if this is how you want things to roll out from now on, or if you like the uh, shorter, more mono-sized content a little better. And if you really enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Anyways, have a great day and see you again soon.